For today's RV upgrade, we are going to install a magna shade on Maggie the RV. Yeah, and everything we're showing you now came in the box that's behind it. Right there is the windshield shade. We have it all out in the sun so that it will start to warm up so when we do the dry fit, we'll get it nice and tight. So below the windshield shade are the windshield wiper shades. And scrolling along to the left is the telescoping pole for putting it up. Now this is all done on magnets. So once we put this up, we will not need a ladder to install it again. Yay! <laughs> now on top of the pole, that's the carrying bag that you put it all in when you're not using it. Below that are the magnets, which are very, very strong, and all the instructions. Next to that, we also went with the two side windows, the driver and passenger side. This should really cool down the uh, cockpit area on hot days when we're camping. Okay, so there's two sets of magnets that came with ours, A and B. These are B. The A I already put on, just to get an idea of how strong these are. These are extremely strong. They actually lock together and <laughs> took me forever to get them apart. So we decided it would be best to follow the manufacturer's suggestion of putting them on a cookie pan. Now they used a round one, but you know, this looks more like a windshield, so I'm gonna put them where they go. It's imperative that you get the A and the B in the right places. The A should only be in the two top corners. So I'm gonna open the rest of these and you'll see what kind of fun it is. <laughs> these are the magnets here. They're separated by spacers. Those spacers are very, very important. Very important. So as you're pulling them off, just slide it off <laughs> and I mean that I am pulling hard here <laughs> so we're gonna have four that go across the top so from here <laughs> they're very strong I'll put another one here Get the spacer off. this is the adhesive have the adhesive side up <sighs> they say these things can jump 12 inches <laughs> Ow. and see how I caught my finger <laughs> it will give you a heck of a blister <laughs> Oh, all right. All right. Enough talk. I'm putting the rest on. <laughs> He's just really strong. Yeah, let's be super careful, people. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have it designed on how a windshield is going to go. They correspond with all the magnets that are already on the shade itself. Each one of these pockets that you see has a magnet in it. And that's what's going to hold it on. Those will mount inside the windshield. Of course, this goes on the outside. They'll lock together. Privacy, with a view. Before we can begin, we have to make sure that the outside perimeter of the window is clean, because that's where the magnets are going to adhere to eventually. So you want to clean that with a 50-50 mixture of alcohol and water. So that's what I'm gonna do. The magnets are gonna go as close to the window gasket as possible. All right, driver's side. Okay, all right, so we're gonna start the dry fit now. I folded the two sides just so it's not as wide. I'm gonna take the two center ones, line it up as close as I possibly can to center. Don't worry too much if you're off, we're gonna adjust it later. Now Derek is going to put the magnets on the windshield. There's one. And two. Continue on to the other side. Now Chuck is going to continue to adjust until we get the windshield nice and tight. Yeah, it's not perfect yet. The side is a little bit short. I'm going to have to slide everything this way a little bit. So I got over here. Yes, it's over here. So all I'm going to do though is slide 
So Derek doesn't have to do anything in there because it will slide the magnet with it. So Chuck is yeah, so adjusting you, all the magnets to make sure they're in the right location. You want it like centered and all the way to the gasket of the win window. And you'll know because well, it's going to fight to come back when you try to move it. So all the magnets are pushed back. It's a little darker in here. It's simple, I'm just sliding them off. Peeling the adhesive off. Okay, and I'm just gonna put it back on, let it find itself, and there we go. I'm gonna knock, because Derek cannot see us, so we're moving to the next window. Obviously there's some soundproofing in here too. Yeah. Okay, slide down. Peel off. Let it find itself. <laughs> that was quick. Hold it. Back up top. And as you can see, Derek is just holding the magnet in place while Chuck sticks them to the window in the inside. Snap right to the window. Thank you, Derek. So Chuck is inside. I don't know if you can see it, but he's waving his arms so you can see that the lights are being blocked. But it's pretty impressive. Now he's shutting the lights off. Now you can't see him at all. I can't see him at all either. I can't see you! <laughs> so we're going to start with the passenger side window now. Because we have used rain -X on here, we're going to use still wool. Just go around the outer side. Zero, 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 zero. Four zeros, right? <laughs> Will not scratch the window. I'm just going to go around where the magnets are going to stick. Just to break it off, because you do not want any kind of slickness left on the window. Now you really want to make sure that you clean this good. There's going to be a spray adhesive that we're going to put on, but to have it set up right, the window has to be really clean. So again, 50-50. Nope. It's not Windex. <laughs> it's not Windex. <laughs> That's just the container. Scrub hard. This is the outside of the side windows. Where the pocket is. <laughs> That's the little pocket for the going to lay this down the outside facing down so that you can see all the little pockets here. I'm just gonna go along and I'm gonna place a magnet on top of each one. And that's the magnet right there. Cool. So I'm just gonna put it on them and they self-align. Put a 3M on it now. Peel off the back side, keep the 3M side on, and then just line it up on it. Push. I'm going to do that to the remaining ones. Last but not least, there's two extras, so I guess you can screw up twice. All right, now we have to go prep the window. Wipe. One direction. They say it's about 50 
sprays in this bottle, but you don't need a lot. One direction only though. Okay, now wipe it with a clean cloth. One direction? One direction. Go and make a whole big circle. We're ready to install. Alright, here's the fun part. <laughs> you kind of have to line it up to where it's going to go. Looks good it, down here. That's good? Yeah. So if I stay at this position, we're good? Yeah. So I'm just going to peel off the backing. Still looking good there? Apply pressure for about 30 seconds. Mind you, just like the windshield shade, the magnets, they are in pockets that can slide. So if you're a little bit off, you can adjust as you're going along. So now the next one here I'm gonna do. If you need to cut your nails, don't do it the night before you do this. Hmm. Just slightly pull and press. And then just continue to move along the thing. You can adjust the magnets as you go along if you need to pull them in and out. Okay. And then last but not least, I'll do this one. Just gonna Pull that nice and tight. Looks good. Okay, while I'm pushing these down, why don't you go in and show them how it looks on the inside. Alright. This is what it looks like on the inside. We can see Chuck, but he can't see us. Now to get these off, because you won't you do not want to leave this on for 72 hours at least in dry weather. To get it off though, they say quick snap. Quick snap, so you don't pull any magnets off. There. Now Chuck's just gonna go up and now that the shade is off, we're just gonna push them on a little bit more for about 30 seconds each, just to give them a good seating. And there you go, it's installed. Looks great, and look, you can't see in. <laughs> I love that. But we were curious about the claim that it might keep the RV cooler. So at 8.30 this morning, we set up a little test. We moved the RV so that the windshield was in direct sunlight. We put an indoor-outdoor thermometer on the dash between the windshield and the RV shade, because that's how we would normally be at campgrounds. And these are the results that we came up with. A half hour later, we went out at nine o'clock. The RV shade down, magnet shade off, Inside temperature, 93.6. Outside temperature, 77.9. So to continue the test, we went back out at 10 a.m. The RV shade is still down, the magna shade is still off, and the inside temperature went up to 108.2. The outside temperature went up to 80.3. Continuing the test, we went out again at 11 a.m. this morning. The RV shade down, magna shade off, the inside temperature shot up to 112.7 while well, the outside temperature only went to 82.4. I don't even think a plant can live in that. <laughs> I'm telling you, that's crazy. So we put the magna shade on, leaving the RV shade down. At 12 p.m. we went back out, and the inside temperature was 103.1, and the outside temperature was 91.3. So we wanted to recheck our unscientific test that we did, so we took the magna shade back off. An hour later, at one o'clock, we went out, RV shade still down, magnet shade off, inside temperature went up to 119, outside temperature actually dropped to 89.6. So does it make a difference? I'm gonna have to say, yeah, a little bit, but it's all installed. Now we're gonna show you how to put these up. If you go out to magnet shade's website, you're gonna see the owner of the company do this, and he does it so much faster than you're gonna see Cheryl and I do it, but we're brand new at it, so his procedure didn't work for us. We tried phone a friend, thanks Rich. We came up with our own little procedure for getting it done. I don't know if it's because our windshield is curved more or whatever, but anyway, this is the way that we do it. Telescopic pole, all the way out. Driver's side, upper corner. 
Now we had a lot of trouble with this lower one locking also, so I hold this out of the way. And then all I do is I just walk right up to the corner and stick it on. Now Cheryl's gonna pull the bottom out so I can stick that on. Now I'm gonna come over to the second one. I'm just gonna slide it right up the windshield. So it's both locked. Now I take the passenger corner and I'm gonna bring it up. These two may or may not lock. We'll take care of that later. Try sliding it up. If you jump it a little bit, it will work. Just like that. Now, you pull the windshield wiper blades out, pull it down. Now this side did not come all the way over and it hasn't every time we tried it. <laughs> so what you wanna do, take the pole, Gonna nudge a little and then take it up in every one of them. Right around to the corner. And with that done, pull out any wrinkles that there might be. That's not too bad. Now, any wrinkles that are still there, the sun will take care of. Sun setting here, thank God, because I'm still feeling sweat. <laughs> take the windshield wiper uh, shades. Undo the Velcro. Start in the bottom. And just lock, lock in the Velcro. Make sure they're covered. Not too shabby. Now the driver's side and passenger side, they're gonna be a little bit easier. What I do on these, I take the left-hand corner and just stick it up there. Then, tuck it under here, bring it over. You'll probably hear the rest of the magnets, or a lot of them locked in. Yep. <laughs> I mean, you can adjust this and pull it a little bit, but again, it's the sun's not on this right now. So, there you go. That would be the driver's side. Side the exact same way as I did the driver's side. Lock it on, bring it across. They should just about all lock in. In other words, repeat the process. Yeah. All right. So, in case you're wondering how they come off, Pretty much, I do it this way, because of the mirror. All right, just pull them right off, just like that. And roll them up. Again, behind the mirror, pull off, roll them up. Then for the front, move the wiper shades. And It only takes one person to take yeah. it off. Ta -da! And then just roll this up. All right guys, as the sun goes down, bringing this day to an end, we're bringing this video to an end because it's gone on long enough. <laughs> we do want to say though that we are not affiliated with Magnus Shade in any way, shape or form. We have to pay for this just like everyone else has to pay for them. But we do feel it's going to be a great addition to Maggie, so we are looking forward to our next camping adventure. Ooh. That being said, if you enjoyed this video or learned something, we'd appreciate the thumbs up. And if you'd like to continue enjoying our videos and liking our videos, subscribe button. It's always there available to you. Feel free to share and comment on this video, because until we do something else to Maggie, I'm Chuck. And I'm Cheryl. We'll get gone with us. <laughs>